Hey guys, if you don't know me, my name is Nick, otherwise known as NCI Resale, and I'm back. I know I've been on a hiatus for a while, but I am back, and I'm going to fill you in in just a moment. But if you don't know me, like I said and about two seconds ago, my name is Nick, and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay and all those other places, as well as a full-time college student at the University of Minnesota. And I just finished my semester of school feeling great feeling wonderful. Uh, I've been online 100% for a year, over a year now, and I registered for in-person classes in the fall, so that's super exciting. But in the meantime, I have been on Zoom University for so long, but I'm all done with that. I'm on summer break. I have four months off, and we are just going to kill it selling all sorts of stuff. And I will be back here on YouTube now that I have time to do that now that I'm not doing schoolwork and selling stuff and dancing and all of that fun stuff that I do like 24 seven. So I'm a minute into this video and I'm sure you're wondering like, what the heck are we doing here? Well, today I have a haul for you and it's been so long since I've done that. And just a little backstory. If you don't follow me on Instagram, which everybody should do, shameless plug happening here at NCI underscore resale. I do these things called haul o'clocks on my Instagram stories where I do a haul of everything I get, you know, on a given day. And, you know, this summer I thought to myself, well, why don't I just bring haul clocks to YouTube too? So every time I do a haul clock on Instagram, I'm going to try to do one on YouTube as well. Just a forewarning, I usually sell quite a bit of stuff on my Instagram hauls. But if you want anything, if you're interested in anything here, feel free to email me. It'll be the first thing in my description below and ask if it's still available. If it is, I will give you a bang in price on it. I will PayPal invoice you and we will go from there. But no pressure, sit back and enjoy the haul. My AirPods are falling out of my ears. It's fine, whatever, but I'm just gonna keep going. And I'm outside again, cause it's nice outside in Minnesota where I live. Okay, so I'm just gonna start it off with a good one. A good one, I'm at a full disclosure. I paid $14 for this at a consignment store, but it was worth it, cause I'll tell you why. So it is this Lululemon Active Skort. It is the pace setter skirt. It has shorts underneath. And this print is super rare. And somebody sold this exact skirt in the same size, which is a size six for like $120 on Poshmark. And so I don't think I'll get that much for it, but you know, if I can like double or triple my money, I will be super happy with that. These next two, I didn't find this week. I actually just washed, but I pulled them for somebody and so I figured I'd show them anyway because you'll want to see them. They are a goldie high-waisted denim. If you ever see this label here, always, 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 always pick it up. It is super, super expensive and super hot right now. These are a 24 and they are a high rise, super high rise distressed skinny jean, super cute. And then this is another pair of goldie high rise skinny jeans and a 27, so a size four high-waisted these have a raw hem that is split at the bottom and then distressed on the back. These would be so cute with a pair of like boots. I don't know, I'm obsessed. Next is this Lululemon, just racer back gray tank top. The rest of this is from garage sales or the bins, just to, just to let you know. This is just a striped Lululemon racer back tank top. My low power button just came on, so I turned that off. Good basic piece, this already sold. And then one more pair of a Goldie jeans. These ones, size 25. These are the Riley high rise straight leg jean, the best style of all of them to get. And these also already sold for 70 bucks on Instagram, which I give good deals. This is a really cute vintage wool sweater. It is a men's size, extra large, but could definitely be worn unisex. I love these vintage kind of like grandpa sweaters. This one's mock neck. I'm fighting every urge within me to not keep it, but I have so many sweaters, but I would definitely wear this. So if you want to look like me, there you go. Next, these are not exciting, <laughs> but you know, sometimes not exciting is good. These are express columnist plaid stretchy dress pants and I have found that people like these express dress pants and like whether it be the editor or the columnist, those are their like two style names. People know that they like them and they search for them. Um, and so these are a size eight. Columnist is like a very slim boot, almost like a straight leg dress pant. And I think as more people are going to be going back to the office soon here, 
they're gonna need dress clothes again. They probably are, like ditched all of them for tie-dye sweatsuits and they can't wear those anymore. Uh, this is another pair of Columnist Express dress pants in the exact same style, just in a nice gray color. And I think they'll do good. Um, I'm sure they might sell together. I'll list them separate, but you know, who knows? This next one, probably shouldn't have bought it, but I did because it was very fun. Reminded me very much of my berets. Um, I hope you got that Shit's Creek reference. Anyway, this is a ostrich feather off the shoulder velvet long sleeve like blouse top. I am just obsessed with it. Like a little like feather moment. I don't know. It is vintage cachet. I don't know if it's vintage, but it's cachet. And it is a size medium. And I just think this is so gorgeous. This is a vintage wool shacket. I know it's kind of out of season, but I wasn't going to pass it up in a bin. Um, it is really high quality red wool, and it is a size medium, men's size medium. There it is. Um, but it's just a really good quality piece. Um, great. Somebody will buy it for next fall. I don't know. This is a woman's Lululemon Swiftly long sleeve t-shirt. These always do really, really great, and I find them pretty frequently, which is awesome. Um, but this one is a size six and the Lulu symbol is always on the back, but these, they're like signature things that they have the Lulu symbol, like embroidered in them. One of the most popular Lulu things that they sell. And so if you ever find them, always pick them up. I'll pay up to like 20 bucks for them because they're always a super quick sell, um, for, you know, 30 to 40, even sometimes more if they're new, um, dollars. This less exciting is a wool blend sweater. It's in a camel color, which I think is really pretty, and it's mock neck. It's very soft, and the brand is Olsen Europe. Uh, when I looked it up, it seems to be a pretty expensive brand, and it was in the bins, and so, I don't know, I really liked it, and I think it's really pretty, and I like having, like, larger sizes in my store so that everybody can shop. This is a really cute long sleeve that I wish was my size, but it's one size too small for me. I probably could fit it, but I like my shirts to be a little oversized. Um, it is a yellow and black, like, graphic print long sleeve vintage shirt. The brand is Dispatch. I don't know. It's a men's size small. Again, could definitely be wore unis worn unisex, but I think it's just really cute. I don't know. Somebody will love it for $20. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can love for 20 bucks. Another vintage piece. If you don't, if you can't tell by now, I love picking up vintage at the bins. This is like a sky blue mock neck little cotton sweater. Um, it is super cute. The brand is Ivy Products. I don't know, probably from the 80s. And it is a size medium. Also, I am on my front porch right now. So if I look in a random direction, it's probably because one of my neighbors is looking at me weird, but they're used to it by now. I'm the crazy dude who hauls bags of clothes in and out of the house at like a yeah, I'm pretty sure my mailman thinks I'm a hoarder, but that's besides the point. <laughs> um, sorry for that tangent. Also, with these videos, I know I'm nine minutes into this at this point. I'm going to try to not edit them a ton, just for, like, time's sake. And I don't think people really care that much. But, you know, I'm going to say that in hopes that I don't go through and edit this to, like, the millisecond. Like, I probably will. Next, the my AirPods keep falling out. Okay, we're good. These are really adorable. They are like micro flare denim overalls. They are by the denim designer Frame. Let me show you. I have like, I'm like hit or miss with Frame. I wouldn't pay a ton for them, but these were actually like super cheap. Um, and they are so cute. They have the little embroidered F in them. And they are just a dark wash stretch denim overall with like a little flare leg. Like this would be so cute with like a little crew neck underneath or a sweatshirt or even like some like blouse. I mean, you could dress it up or down however you'd like, and I just think it's really cute. These are mauve, mauve. I don't know why I say mauve. Probably because Jack and Ryan say mauve. Uh, these are mauve Fabletics leggings in a size small. They're ruched at the bottom and high-waisted. I just think they're really cute. These are, vin not vintage, vintage style, but they're modern. Um, Dickies women's shorts. Um, they are from PacSun. They were $35 new. I might take the $35 thing off. It lists them on Posh for $35 because I think they'd sell. Very size zero. They don't have any stretch. They're like 100% cotton and they're just really cute. And tan is in right now. Next. I just got hit in the face with a string. Don't mind me. 
These are Everlane High Waist Skinny Jeans. Um, they're just a classic style. They're a 31, which is a size 12, and they have the leather patch. These are pre-owned, but they're in really good shape. I mean, this person took really good care of these. Um, yeah, I just, I really like them. And these already sold in my Instagram story, this pair. So they're gonna go off to their new home. Again, high waist. I would say these are more of like a straight leg, like a slim straight leg, but these are the high waist jeans by Everlane, again, in a size 31. Um, these are just white denim. And for white, I'm really picky with white denim because it's always flawed. These are in like great condition. I'm not gonna say new because I think they were washed once, but I mean, as new with white jeans as you could possibly get. Another brand, I love selling jeans. I don't know if you could tell that by now when I'm like pulling jeans and jeans and jeans out, but um, this is another pair of jeans, kind of. They are Spanx, size extra small, high-waisted, distressed jeggings. Again, Spanx are something that I will pay up for all day, every day, because they just sell fast. Um, and they sell really well. And this pair was actually, I didn't pay, I only paid eight bucks for these. Um, and they already sold, um, but they're so cute. And just, who doesn't like Spanx? I mean, I, I'm full disclosure right here, they make Spanx for men, I bought some. Because I want to look snatched. Anyway, that might be TMI, but I bought a Spanx t-shirt and I look snatched as heck in it. Oh, my pile is falling over. I'm also very chaotic, I'm sorry. These, however, are not chaotic. They're actually pretty basic, but I love them anyway. They are high-waisted Levi's little shorts. These are always a good 30, 35 bucks. Um, this, if you can find the white oak stuff, which is this, this is usually a little more expensive. This pair was sold at Anthropology and Free People, um, and they are a size 27, so a size four. This uh, was a cute garage sale find. This garage sale had a ton of Lulu, and, that you'll see momentarily. Um, and a bunch of stuff from Ever Eve, which is a super expensive boutique. That's where I got a pair of those, a Goldie jeans and some other stuff. But this is a sweater that was from Ever Eve and it's by the brand Rag Poets. It's striped is super, super soft and it is like a turtleneck. This is what, I think I already showed you this, but this is what the label looks like. It's actually pretty expensive and people like it. Um, I've sold it before and I sold this one. This I think is just hilarious. It's by Suburban Riot, which is another brand sold at Ever Eve, also at lots of other places like Anthro sometimes, but this is just a graphic t-shirt. It says The Great Indoors on it, which I just think is so darling um, and super cute. I'd wear it if it fit me, because I am an indoorsy person, but it's like a woman's size extra small, so that's not going to fit me, my 6'1 self. These are little floral active shorts, again by my friend... Lulu Lemon, if I can find it. I don't know where it is. I did this already once today and I couldn't find it then. There it is, it's hiding in the flowers, but this is so cute. This was from that same garage sale. And so was this, a short sleeve swiftly with gray sleeves and gray body with a little like floral pattern, logo on the back. This is the size, these are all size four, um, except this one, which is a size, no, actually I lied. I don't know. Anyway, one of these is a size two. I got this Swiftly, this Swiftly. I think this one's a size two. This is blue. Yes, this blue Swiftly tank top is a size two. And this pink Swiftly tank top is a size four. And these were all like $3 a piece at that garage sale. And I already sold the short sleeve, but not the tank tops. So hit me up if you want tank tops. These are really cute Patagonia women's shorts. They are a size extra small and they have moths on them. I've never seen moth print. You always see butterfly print, but not a moth. And I love moths. I think moths are super pretty. So yeah, I think they might be like swim shorts, but you could definitely wear them just as like short shorts. I don't know. I like them. I'd wear them if they were like a men's baggy print. I'm sure they are actually. I probably could find them. Anyway, these are blank NYC. There's the label, size 8, 29. Um, High-waisted denim distressed shorts, super cute. They are the Barrow. Um, these were sold at Free People, which Blank NYC is often sold at Free People and Anthropology. You just have to look up the style, but super cute. Just a good pair of jean shorts. 
Um, I am obsessed with this dress. I probably shouldn't have bought it, but I did, and it already sold, so I guess I should have bought it. It didn't sell it for very much, but it is this gorgeous vintage belted, like, cap sleeve dress with, like, silver and gold embroidery in it. Um, it was sold at My Sister's Closet, which is, like, a vintage store here in Minneapolis. I didn't buy it from there. I bought it from another, the same consignment store. I got that Lulu skirt, but I only paid, like, three bucks for this. It has some loose threads, but... Nothing that wouldn't make it wearable. Um, and yeah, I just really, really like it. I don't know. I just picked it up. Next. I'm upset. Okay. I love the 90s. I love 90s style. Y2K? Eh, a little spooky. I'm, it's growing on me. And so that'll be next. But this is like straight 90s. Um, it is this gorgeous silver and black dress. I mean, look at this. And tell me this isn't the most beautiful dress you have seen today. Um, I'm gonna put the thingy in it, but it is so pretty. It is like a maxi slash midi length, depending how tall you are. And it's sheer after you get like halfway down. Like it has a slip built into it. It just looks really sheer because the light's shining through it, but it has a slip that's like built into it. Here, there we go. The slip's built into it. And then the bottom is sheer with a side slit. It's so pretty. Um, I got it at a garage sale with these next two things. And I just was like, oh my God, I need that. This is a little fuzzy Y2K moment. A little, a little shimmy shimmy shake. If you know who Suede Brooks is, she would wear this 100%. Um, it is like a fuzzy little Y2K t-shirt. It doesn't have a size. Um, I bet they cut it off, but I would say like a, it would fit like a women's extra small or small. Um, and this is just like quintessential, like 2002 shaggy orange shirt realness. And I love it. It was only like a quarter, so. Couldn't go wrong with that. Bolo brand, get your pens out, get your pens out. Um, this is Raquel Allegra, which is hard to read sometimes. The tag looks like this in some very, um, very aggressive cursive. Looks like this. They do vanity sizing, so a size zero is actually like an extra small. And it is this super pretty, it's not gonna show up very good because it's a wrap dress and wrap dresses look like crap unless they're like on somebody or on a mannequin. But it's this super pretty, like, raw edge wrap dress um, with a slit at the bottom here. And then it has a super cute little back pocket with it, too. I mean, I just think this dress is super pretty. Um, and it, it probably retailed for at least, like, four to $500. And so, you know, whatever I can get for it, I didn't pay that much for it. So, whatever. This is a gorgeous anthro coat. I got this at the same dress, same dress, same garage sale as that sparkly dress. Um, it is Charlie and Robin, which is an older anthro brand, and this is a size small. This piece was like a catalog piece, and catalog anthro is actually like super collectible. Like there are diehard catalog anthro people. And so I just thought this coat was so pretty. Out of season, maybe, yes, but still pretty. You can take this collar off too, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, um, this coat was going for like over $100 online. And so I don't, again, if I can get that, I'll be ecstatic, but I don't think I will. But you know, it's worth a shot. <laughs> My stuff's falling over. I should have planned this better. It's been a while since I did one of these. This is HWR Monogram. Again, Anthropology. Again, from the same garage sale. And this is like a boiled wool coat again. Um, in this really pretty, it's like a tomato red color. Um, with this, like, over-exaggerated, ruffly collar. Um, it's so pretty. Again, catalog anthro. Again, really good comps on this coat. So I went ahead and grabbed it. They were $5 a piece at that garage sale. Didn't even haggle with her. I said, here's 10 bucks. Thank you. These pants, I just think, are so cute. They are, like, taper leg, high-waisted, like, almost gold. I was going to say tan, but they're almost a gold. And I'm going to look at what the fabric is, because I swear they are linen they're linen yeah they're 88 percent linen and part silk which super great for summer they're just so cute i just love these pants they're like wide leg but taper at the bottom super trendy these would be so cute with a white blouse anyway then we got a buffalo shirt or a bison they're bison not buffalo but you know same difference i really wanted to keep this and i sold it and i'm regretting selling it because i kind of want the buffalo shirt but there will always be another one it, it it was my bag sorry i was making noises 
This is a vintage Woolrich shirt. It is dead stock, new with tags. I don't think it's super vintage, and I also might not even be vintage at all, just early 2000s from Sportsman's Warehouse. I don't go there. Um, that's a scary place that I don't like. Uh, but bison, very cute, very pretty. Sold it to somebody in Hawaii. I don't know what they're gonna do with a heavy shirt in Hawaii, but you know, I'll take it. This is adorable. It is by Grayson which sometimes is sold at Anthro, and this piece was. It is an adorable butterfly print linen white blouse. It is vanity size. It is their size one, which is a US extra small. And it's just so cute. And this was like over $100 on Anthro when it first was, it was like $138 when it was first like retail. Um, and so I just, th I, yeah, I couldn't pass it up. It was so cute. And I found it right next to this last shirt, I think, yeah. This last one, um, so I'm sure, I'm, I'm certain they were from the same person, but this is a Bi Anthropology blouse, size two, super current. Um, it's super cute. It's like a puffy shoulder sleeve, like oversized, like almost like a painter's blouse, but not quite in white. It's very white still. And the only flaw with it is it has this little tiny, like little tiny little spot and it was really cheap. So I still bought it and somebody could bleach it if they wanted. Uh, it would not be hard to get out, I don't, I can't imagine. And, and it's cotton, and so I feel like cotton is really easy to take stains out of. Let me make sure I'm not lying to you and saying it's cotton. No, it's 100% cotton, so. So I think somebody will like it. And so that is all the clothes I got. Now I got one, two, three, four, five pair of shoes in this haul. Number one are these really adorable free people suede ankle boots. They have this like laced or like lattice, like braided. That's the word I was looking for, braided leather on the front and on the sides. And I just think they're super cute. They're never worn. They're a size 37, which is like a US seven. Super cute. Next are these Pour La Victoire silver little embossed ankle boot moment with a stacked heel. Again, these are so cute. Um, they have a little bit of wear. I mean, I don't think they were ever worn. They might maybe like tried on, but um, I think these are from storage, but they have a little scuff right here and then one little scuff on the toe, which, you know, whatever. And they are a size 6.5. These are logo embroidered little Tory Burch espadrille slides. Aren't these cute? They're called the Fleming slide. Um, not my favorite name, but cute shoes. Um, again, they're, I think I said that they're six and a half. Um, and they're just super high quality, super nice shoes. I really like them. These, probably shouldn't have bought, but I did. They're gorgeous. I mean, they are really pretty. Um, Betsy Johnson, floral, like ankle strap, little knot detail heels. Uh, they're, ju they're just really cute. Um, nothing, they're the Ivy heel in a size six. Um, I just think they're adorable. And then last but not least for today are these Lucky Brand little snake print suede sneakers. Brand new, no flaws. And they are a size six. They were maybe tried on, but I don't think so. And that is it for the haul today. Uh, I thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me and watching. And like I said, I am back for the summertime and hopefully hopefully forever but you know no promises and yeah i hope you all have a great one subscribe if you want more like this video follow along i'll see you in the next one bye